friends welcome again today i want to take you through kcse 2014 computer studies paper 2 whereby we are going to form a microsoft word document it's a letter and give it a name uh it should be given a name like uh let us see it should be single single n yeah single n then after typing the name we open and create the document as it exactly appears so that's what i'm going to do right now now i will have to divide my screen into two yes this is an added feature in windows 11 you can divide the screen into two automatically or even into four so now to insert single n we need to uh, to get a, a word at you can choose any from the list then you are, you can type your text here single n uh, clean then from there go to shape format ensure that the single n is selected text effect and transform and choose one of them try to resize using the handle until it looks like the one in that paper so that's what i'm trying to do here yes exactly like that so once you have done it now we need also to insert limited and limited is somehow the l is larger than the others therefore i'm going to insert two text boxes one text box will be for l and the other text box for emitted as you can see now i will insert text box type l select increase its font size to maybe 28 or maybe something like that go to shape format shape fill no fill shape outline no outline yes i will insert another text box and type the words imitated inside it just the way i did to l i'll go to shape outline and set no outline shape fill no fill and maybe adjust the font size to make it to appear like the one in that paper and i'll be done to type the address i will also insert another text box and type po box and whatever it is in that po box as you can see here and try to and center align all the contents i will also make sure that the text box uh the outline is set to be no outline and also the background or shading set to no shade again i'll make sure that uh the font okay the text inside that box is bold that's what i'm doing right now now once this has been set um, we are to continue to the address like the ref i should make sure that it is left aligned and then start typing the reference similar i will also left align the reference that is re new uh, management services and bold and underline at this point i am required to create a column data tabular data without using table so i'm going to set the tabs to maybe two or maybe four so i would love to create a tabular data set it to two centimeters then click ok and start typing the way it looks like or else let me change my mind and set it to four i'll set it to four centimeters 
go to home paragraph uh, tabs increase to four to four the main reason i'm doing so is because i know later i'll be asked to convert this data into into table and if i fail to uh, calculate the width of each field then the table won't be possible to be created and that's why i've changed it to four centimeters so the tab space is set to four centimeters as you can see here so after creating the the tab okay after creating the tabular the tabular data i'll continue and wind up with the letter and check what i am required to do in the next uh in the next um, question I am supposed to be having the invoice in the next page on the next page and therefore I am going to insert something we call page break so that my cursor might be taken to the beginning of the next page as you can see so go to layout breaks next page break under section breaks and another page will be automatically be created and the cursor be placed at the beginning of that page after zooming now i'll go and to table draw table and pick the pen i can't insert the table because you can see the rows and columns are not evenly distributed and therefore i need to pick the pen and draw it or customize it to appear like the one in this uh, paper so that's what i'm going to do, to do. The next step is to format the table whereby the first row has been applied a black shade and the font color is white and also center aligned and capitalized uppercase as you can see and oh then I gotta type everything which is there and therefore for the rest of the columns and rows i'm going to apply the different formatting features As you can see the selected column number, we have to align it uh, southwards. Yes, that's how you align the text. And then I will feed the data as required for the rest of the rows and columns. So after that I will draw a line just below grand total as it appears in that question paper make it black oh unfortunately I forgot to type received by signature and date 
at the last row but it's a small task you can wind up in the following question students are uh, required to create a copy of single n and name it as new single n and this is how i will do mine right click copy and paste and rename opening the new copy i am supposed to perform the following operation in the same copy first it is to convert this content yeah to convert the data in columns code item and fee into table without retyping so select and yes like that then go to insert table then convert text to table automatically it must work but if you had not set the tab maybe it may not work to your case so check the tab setting and it will work in case in your case it hasn't worked next i have to handle this table and i'm going to type a formula here which will multiply units and unit price per shillings and this is how you do it uh, this is the product left and click ok i have copied it to avoid retyping again uh, and bold similarly i'll paste the formula again select and paste again and bold and for the assorted waste again i'm going to do the same same thing paste paste for grand total i'm going to find the sum of the above digits therefore it is sum above is like that so once i'm done with this process the next question uh, asks me to do what to save my work and then boom i will be done with the work so that's all we are done thank you for watching if this is the first time hit the subscribe button like and maybe comment